all, before we start tonight, is just the blue review. We're also giving away a bottle of champagne. You may have seen Kaz, you may have seen Alison going around. The reason being they put a blue ticket underneath one of the chairs. Would the person with the ticket 46 please come up, you want champagne. Have a look under one of the chairs or under the table. It's somewhere in the room, not necessarily where you sit in. It could be at the back, it could be underneath a cushion. Have a look underneath one of... Oh, sorry, it's next week. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> I knew it was going to be one of those days. I woke up this morning and I was feeling a little queer. <laughs> and I thought I'd go to the bar for a drink. As I go to the bar, there's a little boy at the counter and he says to the bar lady, I want a pint of beer. She says, how old are you? He says, I'm 13. She says, well, you've had it. He says, I know, but it don't half make you feel thirsty. Thirsty. I'm sitting there and I see a gorgeous blonde that may surprise a few of you. They call me the teapot. <laughs> I went up to her and said, you can have a pint of beer, if you like. She says, I don't mind if I do. Thought, I'm well in here. I said, you can come back to the apartment, if you like. She says, I don't mind if I do. I said, you can come to bed, if you like. She says, I don't mind if I do. Well, with me, it's over in ten minutes. It's like the golden shot, up a bit to the right a bit, and I still bloody miss. <laughs> ten minutes later, we woke up. I said, in nine months' time, you'll have a baby. You can call it Peter, if you like. She turns around, she said, in three weeks' time, you'll break out in a rash. You can call it measles, if you like. By the way, I don't tell the children these jokes. They tell me. <laughs> this kid comes to me and said, Peter, I said, yes. He said, why did the bum die? I said, I don't know. He said, it had a fart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing at the radiator and it's a kid of three and a kid of four. And a kid of three turns around to the kid of four and says, here, look, contraceptive underneath the radiator. Kid of four turns around and says, what's a radiator? <laughs> I'm at the swimming pool and this little boy goes to this little girl and he drops his trunks. He says, you haven't got one of these. <gasps> she cried her eyes out. <laughs> she rushes to her mum she said, mummy, Johnny says I haven't got one of those little sums. <laughs> Her mother turns around and says, you go back there, dear, and tell him with what you've got, you can have as many of those as you need. <laughs> she rushes back there and said, my mummy says, with what I've got, I can have as many of those as I need. He turns around and says, I'm going to duck you. She said, you can't even say it properly yet. <laughs> This man rushes up to the receptionist. He says, I've got a problem with my thing. Oh, sir, she said. I've got a waiting room here full of children and senior citizens. You must use some decorum. He came back ten minutes later. He said, I've got a problem with my nose. She said, what's the matter with it? He said, I can't pee out of it. <laughs> when he went into the doctor's and the doctor looked at it, it was no bigger than a little nail on my little finger. Oh, the doctor says, you have got a problem. He says, I know, it's been swollen like that for a week. <laughs> then he called me in. He's got this suppository stuff behind his ear. I said to him, oh, what's happened to your pencil? He says, oh, some bum's got it. <laughs> he says, what's the matter with you? I said, I've got an upset stomach. I said, every morning at seven o'clock, I pass motions and I pass water. He said, what's the matter with that? I said, I don't wake up till eight. <laughs> he gives me a jar of suppositories. I came back a week later. I said, they've all gone. He said, what the hell have you been doing? Swallowing them? I said, what do you expect me to do? Stick them up the arse? <laughs> 
He says, I'll tell you what. I said, what? He said, we've got this brand new method of feeding. Oh, I said, what's that? He said, instead of feeding from your mouth, you feed from your backside. Oh, I thought. I'll enjoy that. I came back a week later and I was in agony. I was walking like this. He says to me, how was it? I said, well, the roast beef was all right. The gravy just fell out. Fairy cake blew everywhere. He says, what the hell are you walking like that for? I said, I'm chewing a bloody toffee. <laughs> well, he sent me up the hospital. As I goes up the hospital, I pass by this main surgical ward and I heard a terrible scream. And the matron looks at this nurse, she said, nurse, I told you to prick that man's boil. <laughs> further and I goes past the maternity ward and there's this man walking up and down like this and the nurse comes out and she said Mr. Jones he said yes she said you're the proud father of nine children oh he said that's good he said in the valley men and men and we're built like chimney stacks she said you want to get the bloody thing clean they're all black <laughs> Ward. She went to the first man, she said, what's the matter with you? He said, I've got piles. Oh, she said. And what's your treatment? He says, in the corner there, there's a stiff metal brush. Every morning I brush them hard. Oh, she said. And what's your ambition? He said, to get back to my family, ma'am. Then she went to this other one. She said, and what's the matter with you? He said, I've got piles too. Oh, she said. And what's your treatment? He says, in the corner there, there's a stiff metal brush. Every morning, he says, I brush them hard. Oh, she said. And what's your ambition? He said, to get back to my family, ma'am. Then she went to this poor little bugger with no teeth. <laughs> she said, and what's the matter with you? He said, I got bleeding of the gums. <laughs> oh, she said. And what's your treatment? He says, in the corner there, there's a stiff metal brush. Every morning he says, I brush my gums hard. Oh, she said, and what's your ambition? He said, to get to it before the other two buggers, ma'am. <laughs> I'd had enough of this. I left and I went home. Now, next door to me, there's a very strange family. And I was in the fish and chip shop and I saw the daughter eating chips with her knickers down by her ankles. I says, here, what are they doing down there? She said, oh, is he gone? <laughs> the mother's just as bad. She said to me, Peter, I said, yes. She said, how can I get rid of the flies in the kitchen? I said, put the bucket of shit in the front room. <laughs> just as mad, he comes to me and says, Peter, I said, yes. He said, I've just joined the tissue club. I said, there's no such thing. He said, there is. I said, there's not. He said, there is. You get a card. I said, if you get a card, he says, yes. I said, all right, let's have a look at it. When I looked at it, it said the parachute club. I said, you silly son. It says the parachute club. He said, oh, God, I've just signed up for 50 jumps. She went to the pictures. The next day she came home, my mother said to her, what was it like? Oh, she said it was lovely. She says, when we got there, he bought me a box of Maltesers. She says, and I'm sitting there watching the film, 
and he put his hand on my skirt, oh I laughed. <laughs> then he put his hand under my jumper, I laughed. <laughs> then he put his hand down my knickers, oh I laughed. Her mother said, what on earth were you laughing about? She says, them Maltesers was in my handbag all the bloody time. <laughs> this big black bloke goes in a jeweler's shop and he undoes his flies and he puts his thing out on the counter. Oh, sir, she said, this is a clock shop. He said, that's right, put a couple of hands on this. <laughs> this bloke rushes into the chemist shop. He said, I want 40 packets of condiments, miss. Oh, she said, don't you miss me? He says, all right, make it 41. He says to her, how much are they? She said, they're 43p plus tax. Oh, he said, forget the tax, girl, I'll tie them on the string. <laughs> this other black mate, he's a friend of mine, he come to me the other day, he said, Peter, I said, yes. He said, everywhere I go, people hate me. He said, the white people hate me. The dogs hate me, even the pigeons hate me. I said, what do you mean the pigeons hate you? He said, everywhere I go, they go, look at the goon, look at the goon, look at the goon. Yes. She said, do you remember when you could get cucumbers as big as that? And this deaf old lady said, I think I know the man you're talking about. <laughs> I was getting out of the tube at London and there's this loud speaking voice. It says, watch your pockets, there are pickpockets about. <laughs> Me Mars are gone. I goes a little further and this loud speaking voice says, watch your pockets, there are pickpockets about. Me polos are gone. I goes down a little bloke, comes up to me, says, watch your cock. I fainted. <laughs> I then thought I'd walk across Hampstead Heath at midnight. As I'm walking across, May's the month of the cucumbers. I saw a friend of mine, I said, oh, hello, Cecil, how's your bum? He said, shut up. I said, so's mine, it must be the weather. <laughs> I'm walking a little further and this bloke comes up to me and says, you got the time on your cock? I said, no, it's on my wrist. <laughs> and as I looked down on the floor, I saw this body stretched out and this bloke, eight foot tall, with muscles in his spit. Oh, I said, did you do that? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> oh, it takes me months to kill a bloke, and you done that? <laughs> yes, I did. He was a puff. <laughs> was he? <laughs> I bloody ran. <laughs> I goes in 
into this cake shop. Now, you know what the language is like over here. It's very strange, because the swimming pool, as you know, is called a piscinia. <laughs> You've seen it, P-I-S-C-I-N-I-A. -I, -I, I goes in there, I said to him, I want some Gatox. He said, it's Gatto. I said, it's Gatox. He says, it's Gatto. I said, it's Gatox. He said, it's Gatto. I said, how much is it? He said, it's 300 pesetas a slice. I said, bollows and walked out. <laughs> I'm standing out by my car and this little kid comes to me and I'm cleaning the car and he says, my dad's got two of them. I thought, that's good for your dad. I then goes to the television and the video and this kid comes in and he says, and my dad's got two of them and all. I goes down the bloody loo, I'm standing there, the kid comes, looks over, I said, don't you dare tell me your dad has got two of these. He said, no, but he'll take two of yours to make one of his. He's out with his girlfriend in a car. And as they're driving along, he wants to make love. He said, oh, I can't. He says, you can. He says, I can't. He says, I'll tell you what we'll do. At the top of the hill there, there's a very quiet spot. He says, and what we can do is get under the car, make love. He says, now stick my feet out like that. Then if anyone comes, I'll tell him I'm fixing the fan belt. Also, what a good idea. He said, yes, isn't it? So there they are, underneath the car, and he sticks his feet just out the end. And this copper comes up. And he kicks this bloke's feet, he says, what the hell are you doing? He says, I'm fixing the fan belt. He said, you should have mixed a bloody brake, the car's halfway down the bloody hill. <laughs> and it's an adult night, I must tell you this joke, it's quite good. There's two police women on point duty and it's midnight. And as they're standing there, the first one turns around to the second one, she says, here, Mabel, I'm freezing. Oh, she says, you're not. She says, I am. She says, why are you freezing? She says, I've got no knickers on. She says, what? She says, I've got no knickers on. Oh, she says, you have. She said, I haven't. She says, why have you got no knickers on? She said, well, you know that big sergeant? She said, yes. She said, tonight, he rushed into the room and he ripped my knickers off and he had his wicked way with me. Oh, she said he did, she said he did. Oh! <laughs> she said, I've got an idea. She said, what? She said, we've got the old Alsatian dog here. We'll let him have a little sniff and it will rush off down to the police station and come back with your knickers. Oh, she said, what a good idea. She said, yes. <laughs> so they called the old Alsatian dog over. Butch. And it's having a good sniff. <laughs> and it rushes off down to the police station and comes back with three of the sergeant's fingers. Now, <laughs> yes. Now what we're going to do is, um, a lot of you didn't know that, I'm going to ask some people to come up and help me. Now, you can help me with the next number. Just get, yeah, come out. And keep coming, dear. Yes. Right, you just stand there. That's it. Just like that's it. Perfectly. No, no, no. Let's have a look over here. Could you just stand next to that lady? It's very simple. That's it. Up you come. That's it, you just stand there, let me have a look around. Yeah, well, let me look. You can help me. Where's the mother? Where is she? Come on, out you come on, out you come. I've had you all bloody week, dear. Out you come. Right. Actually, you'll be quite good at this, you'll understand why in a minute. You just stand there. Go on then, we'll have yes, we'll have you then. Up you come, you just stand next to her. That's it, just stand there. That's it. 
Um, yes. Ooh, ooh. Well, we love you. You're the last one. You've got the easiest. Yeah, how'd you come? You only have to stand there. <laughs> Give her a big hand as she comes. Right. Oh, it's very easy. Yeah, oh, it's all right. Yeah, that's it. Right. Now, it's very, very simple. You don't even have to do anything, actually. Right. You're going to be the old cow. That's right. That's me. <laughs> Yeah, but what does it do? Not a lot. <laughs> yes, dear. Now, you have to pretend. Moo. <laughs> yes, that'd be a good one. Now, you're the pig. <laughs> yeah, just step forward a fraction, ignore see. Now, I told you you'd be good at this. You're the turkey. Yes, dear, but I think you could gobble a little bit better. Um, just a gobble, gobble. Something in his throat. Oh, hang on, she's got something in her throat. <laughs> Must be a sweet. Now, you're the ram. Yeah? You go, bah, you'll enjoy this. He's the ram. Bah. Do the motions for her. Go like that. Bah. Yes, that's quite good. You're quite easy. You're just the dog. Boo boo. Woof woof. I can't get me breath. Then just go woof woof. Woof woof. Yes. As long as you don't say puff puff, we'll be all right. Now, just get yourself in a line. Now you know this song. We want you all to join in. It's Old MacDonald and a farm. This is the introduction to it. Okay, stand. Already? <laughs> Old MacDonald has a farm. E -I -E -I and on that farm there was the dog. Okay, I mean, I mean, I understand. What we've done, it's, 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 it's Old MacDonald. <laughs> <laughs> it's marvellous, Stan, isn't it? Um, <laughs> hang on, Sam, let's go talk to me, mate, Stan. Yeah, I think he's pissed. Um, Right. Right. Yeah, we're just having the introduction. It's you can see we're on the cheek this year. Oi, it's old MacDonald's bloody farm. Well you can't get much for 20 quid a week, you know. Ready? And right. Old MacDonald had a farm. On that farm there was an old cow <laughs> with a pool. It's just that your mouth's too big, dear. <laughs> yes, we, yes, dear, we will start to get to stand. Hang on a minute, do we know this? Playing, mate. 
He's not playing with us. I think he's playing with himself. <laughs> we're now on the bucket and then. Ha -ha! <laughs> oh dear. No. But now on that farm there was a pig. With a With a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. <laughs> You're supposed to bloody move! No, I'll just move. Here and a there, there, here, no, there, on it, no, everywhere, on it. Silly old man. <laughs> old MacDonald had a song. With a gobble gobble here yeah, and a gobble gobble. Now, do a bit more. Hang on a minute. Could you make him reach the high note? Hang on a minute. He's going to do the ram. It might make you reach a high note. Just face to her. That's it. Right. Just go. <laughs> you gobble. He's going to ram you. Right. Gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Here and a gobble gobble. There. Here. Gobble. There. Are. work. Now, now, Stan, are we playing old McDonald's farm funeral march or what? I think he could be dead. Um, I bet the only part of him that goes stiff. Now, right. old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Now, on that farm there was a virile old ram. Quite a nice ram, actually. Oh, I've just dropped my key on the floor. One, two, four. I'll just put it back into the pocket now then. Now, with a... Bar, bar. Do the end. Bar, bar. Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, we'll see how small it is. Now. It's not bad, because you should always look at the fingers, girl. Take the middle finger, push it as far back as you can. Open it and that will show you. And with a lady, it's the size of a mouse. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> That's the bloody pigs. <laughs> Bleeding uh, bloody hell. Uh, Stan, what the hell? Will you play old MacDonald? <laughs> MacDonald. Uh, With a barber here and a barber there, here your goblin. With a gobble goblin here. Yeah, can we have some emphasis on the goblin? Gobble gobble, gobble gobble. No wonder your marriage never lasted. With a here and a there, here a mo She's got lovely teeth. Just take them out and show them. They're beautiful. <laughs> you see, because we can. No, dear, I'm not. Stan is. Right now. Oh, I just want to see if you can actually play it. Play it now, because the night's weird. They're going to join in with you. <laughs> Old MacDonald. <laughs> now, on this farm there was a dog. <laughs> With a <laughs> here. Now that's very good. Here up. Uh, there up. Uh, 
Here I Baba Baba There I Baba Gobble gobble Take your hands off you following me Stand there like that Move <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to thank these because they've been marvellous. Now, before you go off, Alison is over there. Please have, for helping us out, a glass of champagne. Give them a big hand as they go over there. Yes. That was good. If you don't need any more. Just, no, yeah, you'll you, you be all right. <laughs> There's this man with no arms and no legs. And he rings the doorbell of a woman of ill repute. And as she comes down the stairs, she looks at him, she says, Girl, you're putting me on. He says, no, you're putting me on. <laughs> What bloody good are you? He says, I rang your bell. <laughs> As he takes her upstairs, and they're just about to make love, he says, stop. She says, what? He says, I can only make love in bad weather. He says, while I'm doing it, he says, I want you to put your hand over there, turn that light on and off, on and off, on and off. That can be lightning. Oh, she thought, all right. <laughs> there they are, just making love, and he's, she's going on and off, on and off. He says, stop. She says, what now? He says, while you're doing that light, on and off, on and off, I want you to shut that door. Bang, 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 bang. That can be the thunder. All right. There she is, on and off, bang, bang, on and off, bang, bang. He says, stop. She says, what now? He says, I want you to fill your mouth full of water. And he says, you can go. That can be the showers. All right. There they are, making love. She's going on and off, bang, bang, on and off, bang, bang. He says, stop. She says, what now? He says, you expect me to make love in this bloody weather? <laughs> Here's one for the thinkers. It's a very clever joke. It's about a Jewish boy crying because someone has nicked his pullover. No skin off my nose. Think about it. This bloke has got a beautiful girlfriend. And as he goes home with her, the family are very high class. And as they're sitting there having tea, he suddenly breaks wind. And sitting by his feet is a family dog. The mother looks over and she says, Rover. He thinks, thank God, she thinks it's a dog. They're sitting there again, and he breaks wind again. And the woman turns around, she says, Rover. They're sitting there again, and he drops a really big one. And she turns around, she says, Rover, get over here before he shits all over you. And the first nun goes in, she said, oh, Father, I have sinned. I put my hand on a man's sin. He says, go and wash your hand in the holy water and say three Hail Marys. And the second one comes, she said, oh, Father, I have sinned. He says, go and wash your hand in the holy water and say three Hail Marys. 
And the third nun turns round to the mother superior and says, you better go before me, because I've got to do this and you've got to gargle. <laughs> this little kid's in classroom and a teacher comes in. She says, good morning, children. She says, I'm your new teacher and my name is Miss Prussy. And she said, tomorrow, if any child forgets my name, he will get detention. And this little boy goes, oh, prussy, 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 prussy. When he gets home, his brother said, it's very simple. Just think of pussy, put an R in. The next day, the teacher comes in, she says to the little boy, she said, what's my name? He goes, oh, Mrs. Crunt. <laughs> life here is there? He said, well yes, he says, there is, isn't it happened? He says, Monday night we go down a local pub and we drink, drink, drink and get pissed. The bloke says, I don't mind drinking. He says, well on Tuesday night we all get hashish and get stoned. The bloke says, I don't like drugs. He says, well on Wednesday night we all get a woman and have a really good time. He says, I don't like that either. He says, are you queer or something? He says, no. He says, well, you won't like Thursday. <laughs> I wanted to join the army. And I goes in one day and I've got this new heart machine. And they call the first bloke in and they put this machine on him. And they say, you want to think of Rackle Welch? And the machine goes, boom, 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 boom. Hilda Ogden, boom, boom. Boom. Then they call the next one in. Rackle Welch. Boom, 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 boom. He'll drop them. Boom. 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 Then they call me in. Rackle Welch.